بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس اٹ از مائی پلیجر ٹو شیئر ود یو سم نالج آف دی سبجیکٹ نون ایز میتھمیٹیکل اکنامکس پرائمرلی وی شیل ٹرائی ٹو ڈیمسٹیفائی اٹ اینڈ وی شیل ٹرائی ٹو برین اسٹارم آر سیلس ٹو میک فی ٹو میک آر سیلس فیل دیٹ دس از ناٹ اے ویری نیو تھنگ وی ہیو بین آبزرونگ دس سبجیکٹ سنس دا بگننگ سو لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹ we should not be afraid of mathematics because it is our oldest friend as you can see when we recite kalma we get to know that there is one god and he has one last prophet and there are other prophets as well so you see numbers they are there when we look at human evolution we see that adam was the first human being so he gave us the number 1 and then there was eve and the process of addition we started to see and then when they had children we saw the process of multiplication and when we saw the death of the first person we started to observe the process of subtraction so you see basic arithmetics it has been there since the beginning and mathematics is not a very new thing the total number of prophets it is yet another example of a large number so you see all these numbers and processes of addition subtraction they are felt since the beginning now every word must have some sort of etymology it should be driven from some word so mathematics and mathematical both are basically extracted from a latin word a couple of latin words and they are mathematica and mathematicus so we see it has its roots in the history and and when we see that it is in history it's a, it's a very old thing we see that mathematics is an is is as old as man you know it's a famous quote yes as we see since the adam we can start feeling the flavor of mathematics and it is a universal subject it is universal it is all around us how it is let us listen to this quote and it says pure mathematics is in its way the poetry of logical ideas so you see just like poetry which is a universal language to convey ideas and feelings mathematics is also there to help us another quote that that reminds us of the example that we just saw that god has made this world this universe considering certain ratios and proportions and numbers so universal yes mathematics is a universal language it is also precise because when we say things we have to say many things but when we use mathematical tools the conclusions are very precise we get some numbers as uh, paul simulson very renowned economist he says that my belief is that nothing can be expressed by mathematics cannot be expressed by careful use of words in simple words what he is trying to say is that we can do all the things in mathematics that we do in non mathematical economics it is quite universal and gives us precise results and it is also a very applicable tool the the subject of mathematics it is applied on a variety of disciplines we talk about engineering and other subjects so it is applicable on economics as well and let us listen to this quote and it says the true mathematician is not a juggler of numbers but of concepts so he is bewaring us not to just get stuck with mathematics he is asking us to use the results and interpret them in order to create a link between the results and the real life so it is a very important quote that we must remember and we shall delve deeper into it as we go ahead um finally coming to mathematics as a subject yes we are going to study it as a subject but there is an encouraging statement that says mathematics is an adventurous and satisfying route to doing things so it is an it's a sort of adventure you being young people can 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 treat it as an adventure and and enjoy it and learn it in a more effective way and there are other courses as well i have always been interested in ma- using mathematics to make the word a make make the word a better place or make word work better so yes we are going to use mathematics in order to make our economic world look better and perform better and to to get analyzed in a better way so this sums up the the encouragement that we have for for, for studying the study of mathematical economics 
Another point that we must remember is that there are two words. There is mathematics for economists or for economics and the other is mathematical economics. And when we look at these words, they explain themselves very easily, very lucidly. For example, the first one is basically mathematics, the tool of mathematics that we use as economists. So it is the comprehension and understanding, such booj hai, mathematics ki. But the other is mathematical economics that says the application of those tools. So second, we have economics pe zyada tawajah rakhenge aur usko apply karenge the tool of mathematics that we have learnt in the previous uh, branch that is the mathematics for economists. Uh, there are examples. We can market equilibrium. We can write diagrams. We can write words. Mein likh sakte hai. But we can do it using mathematics. We can use the sub-branch. 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 That is another tool from mathematics. And we can use differentiation. We can use the marginal utility, marginal cost, and marginal product. We can calculate the variables. Ko so you see, it is how. It is uh, very simple to calculate various values in economics using these tools from mathematics. Basically, if economic, mathematical economics, ko dekha jai, toh koi nahi branch nahi hai economics ki. It, is the, uh, it is just a language, an approach, a trika kar hai. Hamne baat ko karna hai, baat wohi hai, but it is done in a different manner, and that is a different language. Ham symbols use kar hai, equations, numbers. So, hume ye galti bilkul nahi karni chahiye that we treat it as a subject, a separate subject. It's a different approach. And this is the proof that we have microeconomics or macroeconomics or urban economics or international trade. The problems that we study in these subjects, we can solve using the mathematical tools and hence mathematical economics. These examples we see in our daily life. When we do mathematics, so, demand for uh, equilibrium for demand and supply curves, we can do it in a example. We can calculate the tax revenue, we can estimate the local price elasticity for foreign demand of exports, and there is a plethora of problems that we can solve using the mathematical tools in mathematical economics. <laughs>